What up, what up, guys? Hopefully you guys can hear me. Just got a box of goodies. Little Xanax, what's up, what's up? Car Lecter, welcome. Jorge Delgado, que pasa, Mustang Hunter? <laughs> what's up? Liver Diecast, what's up, buddy? Glad y'all could tune in. Rebecca Bird, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another Cars and Coffee. Actually, today I'm not doing coffee. It is way too hot in this Arizona heat, so I got my energy drink of choice. Rudy, what's up, buddy? Thanks for always tuning in and dropping some love on all my uploads. Definitely appreciate you. So I do have a box of goodies that I picked up uh, today and then just the other day. So we'll go over that. I also have Static Crispy. What is up, my man? Um, I also got a package I'm going to unbox in a little bit. This is from AFAL Man. We're doing a trade. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I finally got the car that... King Nut gifted me. Check this out. Super clean, 68 fastback. Finally got it in the hard shell. I just removed the um, Tesla space cars that I had. Kind of got those out of the package. That way I can put these beautiful ones in there. I still need to put a spot for this RLC Mustang that I got from 55 Gasser. Um, but hopefully all of you have had a great weekend. Um, I had a great morning this morning, and we'll go over that in a little bit. But uh, Anybody find anything good this week? Larfenzo, what is up? Yeah, happy Sunday for real. About to open up this rain. This is like my third favorite flavor, the orange dreamsicle. I live off of these things. Uh, I drink these because of the zero sugar, but I know a lot of you are saying the artificial sugar that's in here is probably worse. Superbird, what's up, buddy? Cool fire trucks, what is up, my man? I'm so glad you got your package, and I'm glad you were the winner of that um, that giveaway, especially since you said that Target was nowhere near you, so I'm glad I was able to hook you up with some red editions. Gavin, uh, he asks, where do you get your card protector? So I ordered mine off of Amazon. Um, these are uh, Sterling cases, Sterling hard cases. And they're single, so this one, like this one, in, for instance, it's one solid piece. It just folds, and it actually has a nice little uh, lip all the way around that the card actually sits in, and uh, it doesn't really damage anything. And then you have the back that actually holds everything in place. Really, really nice. I love these. I love the square finish to them. Um, some of them are a little short and rounded, um, but I really like these in case you have like another casting that you want to have on top or whatever, a little bit more protection. Rapid, what is up, buddy? Uh, me and Rapid were uh, live chatting it up on Instagram earlier while I was in Walmart, kind of showing them the pegs in our area. Heard that J case is starting to hit. Hopefully, um, we just got some G case waves in. Um, we finally got a bunch of the Colt Racers. Everybody loves the Colt Racer series, which I picked up a couple. Ugh, about to sneeze. Picked up a couple more CRXs because a lot of guys um, that I know really want the CRX. Um, I'm hooking up my buddy Liver Diecast with the black CRX um, and a couple other people. So if I can hunt for you guys, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, let's see. Abdullah, coolest guy in the world. I appreciate you. I try to be as humble and down to earth as possible. Um, I know a lot of people get caught up in the hype of collecting diecast and for the money and all that stuff. And I'm trying to uh, keep that from this channel. That's not what I want the brand of the Mustang Hunter to be. So I'm trying to be as positive and spread as much love as I can. Um, 
Static Crispy, the Black Sear X is the one I really want. All right, so hit me up on my email or DM me on Instagram. Um, I did manage to pick up two, which I don't know where I put them. Picked up two extras of the CRX. Um, send me your info and I'll mail them to you. I'll mail you one. Uh, what's up with the Dodge Demon that people are mentioning? All right, so today I went uh, peg hunting, of course, and I met up with my buddy Raul. We were going to go hit up the store together because um, he's been giving me the down low on the new collector shippers, and I always miss it. Even though he gives me the heads up, I still manage to not make it. Um, so we met up, and the collector shipper was already there. He had just went to a fries that I wasn't going to go to, and scored the Super Treasure Hunt Dodge Demon, and I was like, dang it, I just missed it. Of course, he scores like crazy. Like this dude, he's his timing is perfect. He hits every store. He has like a routine he goes to every week, and he scores and lucks out on all kinds of supers and stuff. Um, but he did find the Dodge Demon. I've been trying to get my hands on it. I've offered him money for it. He's a huge Dodge Demon collector. He loves all the Mopar series, which I get, because those cars are freaking amazing. Uh, but he scored one. We met up, did a little bit of like hunting, like kind of maybe two minutes of hunting. Um, I picked up a couple things, which I'll go over in a little bit. They're in this box. And then we walked up to the parking lot, and my man just gifted me straight up the Dodge Demon Super. Check this out, guys. I was like, no freaking way. Like, I, I was like, what do you want for it? How much do you want for it? Um, I think he scored like three or four. So he hooked me up with this one. I, and that just made my Sunday. Like that was just like the cherry on top. Um, and then probably five minutes later, he went to another location and scored another Dodge Demon. So I don't feel so bad that I took his super for the day because he managed to get his hands on another one. So I finally, finally have the Dodge Demon Super in my collection. This one I've been wanting since, I don't know, last year when they first dropped. I don't know what it is about the gold. But when you have a super that's in gold like that, that gold spectra flame, it's just screaming super treasure hunt. And it just looks amazing. I love the Dodge Demons. Hot Wheels Treasure Collector, what's up, buddy? Uh, little, little Xanax Mustang, I found HKs, but sadly I can't take them. Two dots and five tens. Oh, man. Oh, why couldn't you take those? Uh, there's a new orange and chrome series coming out soon. Oh, I got to check that out. Hot Wheels 2021. I love your Hot Wheels collections, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, a lot of hard work. A lot of this was in-store purchases, but there's a good majority of cars that are in my casting that are from great people who are supportive of this channel, um, doing trades or uh, random acts of kindness, sending me packages. So without any of you guys, this collection wouldn't be the way it is. So I have to give this collection a huge thanks to all of you. So. Um, Superbird's asking if anybody scored anything. Yeah, anybody scored anything good? Um, yes. So, again, with the Dodge Demon. Yep, finally got it in my hands. Rapid asks if I approve of his first wheel swap. Yes, of course I 100% approve. That was a perfect choice. Having yellow with the white wheels just reminds me of the Prelude um, that just came out in yellow with the white wheels. I think that's a, that's a great color combination right there yellow and white red and white black and white looks all good so definitely approve of that um where's h cases i don't see any colt racers in new jersey yeah um we haven't seen any h case waves yet oh excuse me and i haven't even seen any dollar general exclusives uh the one dg that's in my area they never have anything um i go there every other day just because it's a it's my local uh, disappointment, so. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, O'Reilly's is getting H case. Wow, yeah. Um, our O'Reilly's had like five cars on the peg. One of them was the Worldwide Camaro, which I picked up for a buddy of mine, and then he got his hands on a bunch of them this morning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it and use it as a custom. Liver Diecast, him and his son opened fresh F case this morning and nothing. Ah, that's the worst. But it's probably like the best feeling when you see a case and you're getting your hands on it for the first time 
before anyone else. That's probably like the best feeling. Even though you never score, it's still fun. It still makes it fun. Um, I get all of them super treasure hunts. Yeah. There's some people that score treasure hunts like crazy. Um, if I find them, awesome. If I don't, it's cool. I'm chasing more of all the mainline variations and all that stuff. Um, man, that's awesome. Yeah, for sure. The Dodge Demon is one of the top supers that have come out so far. Um, of course, a lot of the supers prior, I wish I could get my hands on. But of course, those are higher dollar, more rare. Um, so the chances of me getting those, probably slim. The only old super I have um, is the Nissan Fair Lady, which is this one with the Advan Deco. Um, this is a 2018 Super Treasure Hunt, and I found it last year at Fry's. Second one on the pegs. Definitely was not expecting to find that. This was my second Super at the time. Second or third one. Um, Abdullah, please give away Hot Wheels. Yeah, I'll be doing another giveaway soon. Um, I'm still trying to catch up on a couple more packages left. I think I got like three more to send out and then I'll be caught up and then we can do the giveaway that way I'm not trying to send out the giveaway stuff and then all those other ones start to go on the back burner and fall behind because I I am horrible at staying on top of sending out packages I just get overwhelmed with mail calls and all that stuff Kelly Hamilton hello Mustang Hunter been watching and enjoying your show for a few weeks and really enjoying it thank you so much um, I'm glad that you know, the channel's slowly still growing and getting more subscribers and more viewers and all that. Um, I'm not trying to chase the numbers, but at the same time, it's good to see some growth because I just want to pass and spread the positivity of this collection of die casts and the hobby itself um, really needs to get out there because there's a lot of channels that are just scalping and some really, really bad channels I've watched that are just like, oh, why are you doing this to the hobby? So um, if I can get out there and spread and um, show how collecting should be and how it can be that is the goal of the channel so that is my that is my goal um, cool fire can't even speak cool fire trucks asks how many cars do you have about I have about 1300 close to 1400 now um, let's see Abdullah, love from Pakistan. Please give away Hot Wheels. Of course, I show love to Pakistan and all the Middle East countries over there because I was in Kuwait for about six months. Um, so I definitely got to work with people from Pakistan. Um, uh, what was the other one? Um, Jordan, Turkey, um, Bangladesh. Uh, man, a couple from Afghanistan, a couple from Egypt too. Probably the best people I've ever met in my life when I was when I was deployed over there. They're just so grateful for everything. Um, so big love to you over there in Pakistan. Definitely got to show my love. Uh, the G Case Mustang is the same color. I think yeah, the G Case Super, which I have hanging over here, is the same gold, which just looks phenomenal. So uh, Hot Wheels 2021. Man, I wish I had the Dodge Demon Super. Yeah, that was the one that I've been really trying to get my hands on. And every time, even in this local area, I see everybody scoring on these all the time. And I'm just like, God, why can't it happen to me? Um, unfortunately, I didn't score it on my own. I didn't find it in the wild. But a good buddy of mine hooked it up. So that is just freaking awesome, too. Clone Republic, what is up, buddy? I, I know you've been chatting um, and all that with Superbird, so I wasn't going to interject, but what is up, buddy? Uh, Hot Wheels Treasure Collector, what's your number one favorite Hot Wheel? It is the 65 2 plus 2 Fastback. Um, that is my all-time favorite, um, and I do finally have the Super of it, uh, which is right here. Um, this is my favorite casting that Hot Wheels has. The 65 2 plus 2 Fastback. It's just an amazing um, casting. The proportions are right. Of course, there's so many different variations of it. But I got this super probably, what, two, three weeks ago um, from a trade, local trade. I got this one and the 68 tuned super treasure hunt for um, one of the M2 raw chases that I had. So I traded the raw chase M2 gasser 
I think it was the Chevy Nomad Raw. Uh, it was the 750 piece worldwide for this one, and he thought it was an unfair trade, so he threw this and the 68 tuned Super Treasure Hunt together with the um, Black Bandit GT350. So that is my number one favorite cast casting, um, but as far as particular variation, that's a hard one. Um, only because it's super current and relevant as I'm looking at it, the 2020 GT500 Super is one of my favorites um, so far. 55 Gasser, what is up, buddy? Where did you put your RLC staying? It is right here in front of me. I'm holding it dearly in my hands. Um, I haven't found a good spot to put it yet. Um, this is something I want to put in a in a spot that really captures and highlights the importance of it and the specialty of it. So um, this one is sitting literally right here in front of me, as well as a couple other ones that I've picked up. Um, I wish I could have something sent for me on the Mustang Highway. <laughs> yeah, like I told you in our uh, chat earlier, I know me and King Nut have talked about it before. Um, but we do want to send you something because uh, there's a lot of stuff we have that you don't get. Uh, Jorge Delgado, I finally scored the new Fast and Furious 5 pack at my local Target. Nice. Um, yeah, I found the one and only one at Fry's, which is still sitting right here. I haven't put up anything, guys. Like, I have a stack of cars um, right here, a lot of loose cars. I got cars stacked on that table over there I, I need to really just take a day off and reorganize everything um, but cool thing was this weekend I went yard selling um, and there was one guy out of like 15 houses we went to that was selling some little die cast and I picked up this old turbo fox body it is out of the Z toys like Z E E toys and it's actually a pullback car so um, I'm not too sure if the motor works Yep, still work. Check this out. We'll roll it back a little bit. Okay, it's stuck. Um, it tends to work every once in a while, but um, this thing is really, really cool. He wanted a dollar for it, which isn't too bad. Um, but it's the T-top yellow fox body. Definitely love that. It does have some rubber tires on there, um, but it's very, very cheaply made. You have the really small rivets. You see on there and it's just loose the whole body's kind of just falling off so you have to like really hold it together um, and it's just held together by a little C hook on the back bumper but definitely wanted to pick this up I thought it was a really cool vintage toy it's from 1993 um, he had a Mustang transformer original transformer um, die-cast car you pull it out and like the body and arms come out it was a really cool Mustang um, but he wanted 30 bucks for it, so I wasn't going to pick that up. Um, but that was my weekend find at the yard sales. 55 Gasser, you have an amazing setup there. Appreciate you. Superbird, he has an advertisement. It's, of course, you can, you can post whatever you want in my live streams. I don't really care. I mean, if you're trying to spread the word of what you're trading or selling, that's fine. Um, I mean, it's part of the collection, part of the hobby, right? So... He has an Ajera R for trade, which is the new premium in pearl white. Clone Republic, I wish I could do live streams. Um, eventually, buddy, once you get that uh, thousand, thousand subscriber views, you'll be able to get it. Um, Rapid, there's a bunch of deleted messages, which Static appreciates you for uh, being the moderator for that. Dang, that's a lot. Um, Rapid says, nothing but old Q, A, and B. Store employees say the usual, what we have is out. Yeah. Just like Target. Target's starting to be like that here. Static Crispy says, chill with the spamming, yo. Yeah, appreciate you, Static. My boy Static going to be on top of everybody. Let's see. Rapid, you are now a moderator. Um, I'm trying to get this. 55 Gasser, you're now a moderator, so definitely appreciate you. Sammy 
Cabrera, what is up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. There was a guy in Texas who took all the fast wagons from Kroger Shippers. Yes, I seen that video and it just triggered me last night. It was a uh, Hot Wheels Hunter, whatever he is. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I watch him just so I can trigger myself, but I don't watch to support. I watch to see how insane this dude is. But um, yeah, I seen that video. He gets a shipper. He has the employee unbox it and he's like, all right, cool. Taking all of these because these make money. Taking all of these because these make money. Yeah, he's all about he's all about the business. He's not about the collection. He's not about the hobby. Um, he's, yeah, he's not someone that I would look up to or support per se. Abdullah, love you too, brother. Dot Demon looks super so sweet. Especially with the back tires, yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. Kelly says, I've been collecting since 95 and I'm planning to go through my old boxes. Maybe maybe come by some old Mustangs and I'll let you know what I find. Yeah, let me know. And then, of course, let me know how much you want for them or what you want to trade for them. Um, I'm all about that. So I love finding old stuff like that. Um, very underrated fastback super. Yeah, definitely. Rapid, he says he begs to differ. The best, the best ever Mustang was the generation of the red one I showed you today. That rear end is just, yeah, I know it's one. The '68 Fastback is definitely, definitely a clean one. Gary, what is up, buddy? Abdullah also has a '65 two plus two. Keep it. So it's, it's a heavy hitter in my book. Dwayne Parker, what's up, buddy? Happy hunting Hot Wheel family. Uh, dang. Let's see, Static says, for me, his favorite Mustang is the Eleanor body style. Yeah, that's a great one. And the 67 Shelby. Um, Ivan, 55 Gaster, says, I have a buddy looking for the Skyline set. He's traveling out there in Arizona. Um, good luck. There's a guy that when King Up bought me that Nissan box, he was buying every one of them. He walked out with a stack, and he was going to buy that one and the one King Nut had, um, but luckily King Nut beat him to it. So I don't know why people got to just buy those and sell them for crazy amounts. Abdullah asks, what is my dream car? My dream car is, surprisingly, you're going to be surprised, but it's the 70 Chevelle SS. That is my dream car, um, but realistically... Chevelles are really hard to find. Um, you can find, I have a better chance on finding a 66 or a 65 coupe Mustang than finding a 70 Chevelle. So, 70 Chevelle is my dream car, but I have a lot of dream cars. Jorge Delgado says, or George, just let me know if it's Jorge or George. Um, I'll just call you JD, but he says, What is the one casting or castings you hope to find this year? Um, I definitely want to find the 510 coupe. Um, there's a couple new variations of the, um, I do want the exclusives, but, um, the GR Supra, definitely want to find that one. Um, the Supra, but that's from M2, or no, that's from Auto World. Definitely want to get my hands on a Supra. Um, but as far as Hot Wheels, man. I'd have to really, really look, but I do want the new red Mustang of the Drift series. That one looks so sweet. Clone Republic, hey Mustang Hunter, can't wait for the custom Shelby. Sorry I keep mentioning it, just super excited. No, I know you are. Um, I actually have that set aside. I still have it in the box, so I haven't taken it out to start the custom. Um, I have three customs in front of you, so just bear with me, buddy. All right, love. Um, Lorfinzo is out so appreciate you stopping in buddy Superbird says Hot Wheels Honey is one of the worst scalpers yes indeed he does take them all Superbird you are also now a moderator Hot Rod Josh Garage, what's up, buddy? Definitely appreciate you. All right, 
So I think I'm caught up to all the um, questions, but 55 says, guess what, Jason? I found another uh, other Borla Mustang Super for 10 bucks at a hobby shop hunting for my cousin. Good karma, got it back. Nice, man, that's awesome. I can't wait for you to get your package. Like I said, I hope you really, really like it. All right, so since there's a good amount of you, 35 of you tuning in, um, today I picked up a couple of cars, nothing crazy. Um, I picked up a second of the mystery machine because I know there's a lot of people um, that want this. So I'll keep this on the side in case someone's like, hey, man, I really want to find this mystery machine. Um, I'll keep that off to the side, but definitely wanted to pick up a second one just for that purpose. Um, I hunt for myself and I also hunt for the possibility of hooking up other collectors. So um, also found the treasure hunt of the tire shredder really cool um someone i can't remember if it was the customizer is cousin or brother or someone is really into dirt bikes so i was going to hook him up with the treasure hunt it's really cool um and then one of the subscribers messaged me saying he needed the ford galaxy so i'm hooking up with the mainline ford galaxy and the 55 gasser the guster um i finally got my hands on the treasure hunt little skull shaker right here in purple because you guys know that I just got this one uh, I also bought the blue one and there's a couple other ones I need so now I'm on the hunt for these as well as the bone shaker and it's gonna be hard because King Nut's doing the same thing um, the worldwide I got for a buddy but he just got his hands on a bunch of them so I'm gonna keep that as a custom and then I got my hands on another 62 Chevy because I've given all my extras away, so here's another one in case someone needs one. I'll throw them in as an extra for trades or packages or anything like that. So, got that. And then I found the M2's 70 Boss 302 in orange. This one was really nice. I don't know if you guys remember, but I do have the red variation of this. Um, but I did not have the competition orange, so... Got this one today. I showed Rapid when we were live chatting. They had a bunch of cool M2s. Um, they had some Chargers, some Cudas, um, the Camaro SSRSs, all that good stuff. And then, of course, you saw my post. I got the MBK van with the HKS livery. Um, I got this for trade bait, really. Um, I love HKS. I love the Deco. Um, of course, I do want to keep it, but in case someone wants to trade for it and I get myself another Mustang or something along those lines, I have it here. So um, don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I bought it for the intention of having it as a trade or if someone needs it. So that is that, that is all I was able to get. Yeah, the boss is a sharp one, man. I love that orange. Look at that. If you guys wanna see the red one next to the orange one, let me know, I'll bring it down. Superbird says it would be harder to find now, but it came out. It was pretty common. Yeah. Alpha 164, sending a package to you, and I forgot to add to your box. Oh, man, you don't have to, man, but of course I'm going to be super excited sitting here patiently waiting. It was a Cavishan. Cavishan says, can't wait to get the yellow 2010 Ford Mustang GT. Definitely. Um, I haven't gone back to the cubby hole yet, but I definitely um, am getting that for you. Michael Larson, what's up, buddy? He said he started picking, started picking up doubles for trade. That's the best way to find collectors local. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, what's the best way to find collectors local or collectors I follow to trade with? Um, really, it's just when people post something or they go hunting and find something, kind of like. I don't know. I, I sometimes reach out like, hey, man, what do you want for that? What do you trade for that? Um, but a lot of times I, I'm the one getting the offers, and that's how I do, do my trades. Um, 55 wants to see the red Boss 302, so let me grab that real quick. All right, so here's the red. All right, you have the red one right here, which looks amazing i love this one and then you got the orange let me know which ones you guys like better of course i love the red but the orange one looks just as great the card art's really cool on this one definitely digging it 
You can see the same picture on the back. Got the girls posing right there with the spare tire leaning up on it. And this one's just the, looks like kind of how the ads were back in the day when they just drew them in the newspapers and magazines and all that stuff. So really, really cool. Definitely love the red one. So there we go. Had the red, needed the orange, so I picked it up. Let me go put this back. Alright, so just in a, in a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a package I got from AFAL Man. We're doing a trade. Um, he wanted one of the ID cars, the ID Batmobiles, and he's hooking me up with, I think it's the Prelude exclusive. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up in a little bit, unless you want me to open up now. Um, trying to catch up. Lunar Zach, hey Mustang Hunter, have you got any spare Subarus from the Boulevard as I'm looking to buy, as in the UK I can't get it? No, I only have one. Um, the other one's actually left for King Nut and he got the full set. So I only have one of the Subarus. Uh, Alright, so red for some. People like the orange boss better. Kobe says, hey Mustang Hunter, I have something I want to send you, man. Should I just shoot you a DM? Um... You don't necessarily have to, of course. I love the fact that a lot of you want to send me stuff. Um, but let me know. I also want to offer some money or a trade or something in return. Um, but, yeah, go ahead and DM me either on my Instagram, Facebook, or you can just email me. Um, my email should be in the description box of my videos. Um, it's J the, the letter J, man, olive, one, the number one, at yahoo.com. Um, Pixamite says, what is the average price of a mainline at the Covey Hole, and where are they located? I'm headed out to Phoenix Friday for a week. Um, the average price, you can get a lot of their cars for like two bucks, sometimes up to four dollars, but a lot of people think they're steep. Uh, when you're looking at their premiums, their premiums are kind of pricey, um, probably like 12 bucks, but a lot of the mainlines, a lot of the older cars that you're probably looking for or want to get your hands on, like two bucks, four bucks, something like that. Um, they are located kind of towards Phoenix. DM me, I'll send you their exact info and all that stuff. That, that way you can just go straight there. It's an awesome place. And take some extra cars because they do trades. So you can take a box in there. And if you like something they have, you can just trade. Even trades or they'll give you money for them. Uh, whichever. It's a really cool place. <laughs> Rapid doesn't like when people bring up the Nissan set. Mike Martello says, add extra money. <laughs> Static Crispy, yeah, the, the, it's a tough choice, tough choice. Um, but all right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up what AFAL Man sent me um, for that ID Batmobile. So here's the box. Actually, it's a really good square box. So I'm always curious on how people send things in boxes like this. So let's go ahead and open this. I was going to do a video doing another unbox or mail call video, but I thought, you know what, let me just do it live like I did last week. I don't think I opened a live one, but we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what we got. We got another letter. It says, hello, Jason. Thanks for the trade. I threw in some extra items I'm sure you don't have. The Lego car is from a monthly box subscription oh nice i had a design i had it designed years ago it's not a mustang but we can say it is laugh out loud nice a fall man is such a great guy he was one of the very first guys i traded with and he hooked me up with that amazing target black set i don't know if you guys had ever seen it um but he hooked me up with the ebay 67 gt500 and this black convertible series that was exclusive for Target back in uh, 93 or 95. But look at this, guys. Freaking sweet, man. Look at that. You got the Mercedes SL. You got the 65 Mustang convertible. This 95 Camaro. You got the Mazda MX-5 Miata. 
the Dodge Viper RT10, the Shelby Cobra 427. You got the Roll Patrol and the Custom Corvette. Everything is black. You got the black chrome, smoked out, completely blacked out windows, and the black paint. Check that out. This thing is freaking cool, man. Never seen anyone else have this, and he threw this in the box with a bunch of other stuff. I mean, that was freaking amazing. And of course, I, I'm always going to say that. Everything's amazing to me. Um, but yeah, that is one of the coolest things I got when I first started doing trades and all that stuff. So, all right, all right here we go. Let's start getting into this box. Ooh, look at that, guys. We've got the Dollar General exclusive gladiator in white look at that guys that is nice you got the pearl white and it's got orange and red decos on there don't know what it says it's got the rubicon but it says die cast oh die cast built to last right there on there you guys know i have the blue the tan and the red color variations of this so that is awesome Definitely was not going to get my hands on that because the Dollar Generals around here are just horrible. Alright, let's see. Ooh, what is this? You got the Stud Cruiser. A Fall Mans. What is this? A, um... Looks like a Bronco, almost. Check that out. That is freaking cool. Designed exclusively for Brick Loot by Emery. Also known as A Fall Man. Check that out. I definitely got to put this together. That is freaking cool. Look at that, guys. It's almost like a Ford Bronco. Maybe it is a Ford Bronco, but that is super sweet. That's cool. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, look at this custom work, guys. This is what I freaking love about the diecast community. Look at this. You got the red gladiator, but look at the detail. Let me see if you can get it. Look at the detail of those dirt bikes on the back. You got a red one and a blue or blue on the other side, red on this side. Look at that. Chrome engine detail. That is so cool. He does some amazing work. I know he did the Harley set. God, that is really nice. If you guys can only see the chrome that he was able to paint on there. Just to give you guys a comparison, look how plain Jane cheap molded that looks. And then you have that. That is freaking sweet, man. That's definitely going on the shelf of customs. Okay, that is, man, that is nice. And then here we go, guys. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting to get this one. The Dollar General exclusive Prelude. You have the lace wheels and of course that nice pearlescent green with the black hood. Oh, that is nice, man. So this is what I traded. I traded the Batman ID Chase for this one. And of course my man threw in some extras that are awesome. All right, so nice. You guys can check out that pearlescent green though. Look at that. It's like a seafoam green. God, that is nice. So, those chase IDs definitely came in handy because um, I always get more than one just in case because someone's always wanting to trade for them. And then here we go. What is this? Oh, that is so sick. Check this out. It's a Lego. It says my other car is a Mustang. Oh, that is sweet. It says take a picture of the bumper sticker on your car and share it with us. That is so cool. <laughs> if I kept my Beamer, I would have thrown this on the Beamer for sure. <laughs> that is so cool. And then what do we got in here? There's another little package of things. Let's go ahead and open this up. You know, for a little box, he put a lot of stuff in here. Very surprised, my man. Oh, wow. Check this out. Is this... Look at that. He threw in a little... He threw in a little Lego dude. With the trophy. Look at that. That is so cool. 
You guys need to check him out, especially those that are into Legos and building stuff. I'll have this right here on the screen so you can scan it or check it out. A Fall Man. Check him out on Instagram and his YouTube channel. Definitely awesome, but check that out. That is so cool. This guy's going to be featured on the channel probably a few times. And then what do we got right here? Oh, that is so cool, dude. It's a Lego keychain, but on the back, it's the Ford Mustang. Look at that. That is badass. That is so cool. <laughs> I tell you, man, like everything that you guys do for other collectors is just amazing. This is a cool little guy. I want to know the story behind this. That is so cool, but this custom, man, look at that, guys. That is really good detail right there. If you really want to check out his custom work or his dioramas, check out his Instagram, A Fall Man. It's a fan of Legos, that's what that is. That's what A Fall is. And then this cool little stud cruiser that he designed really really cool i gotta put that thing together so a fall man i definitely definitely appreciate the trade and the extras but there you go guys dollar general exclusive color variations of the prelude and the gladiator nice <laughs> all right let's see what let me catch up on some comments here no rapid mx5 in the uk and the miata in the u.s Okay, y'all are arguing on MX-5 and all that. I have that Lego man. He's sick. Is he? Let me know the story behind this dude. I want to know. I want to know what he is. If you know anything, if you know any more about this Lego dude, let me know. Let me know, guys. Let me know. The paint on the DG Prelude and the GK Celica are both super sick. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Beautiful colors. Let's go ahead and compare those two, actually. I think I have it still next to me. Let's see. Where would I have put it? I didn't put anything up yet. Maybe I did. Um, I guess I did. But, yeah. Definitely sweet. I'm just starting out collecting Hot Wheels, says Thomas and Shelly Swilling. Definitely welcome to the hobby. It's definitely You're definitely going to feel the addiction to it. Um, once you start, you will not stop collecting. And that's the one thing that um, Mattel did right, is they know how to keep collectors in the game. So you might be like, oh, I'm a Jeep guy. I love this Jeep. And then Mattel's like, hey, let's get all these Jeep lovers hooked so let's put out a blue one a white one let's put out an exclusive let's put out a super treasure hunt which i still couldn't find um the jeepster commando super treasure hunt i really want that one um but that's how they do it man like they are smart when it comes to getting collectors hooked is they're like let's make all kinds of crazy variations let's do base variations wheel variations like they know how to do it man they they are smart they are very very smart company Columbia man, Mustang I got first car for Mustang I got first car for Escort LX 1990. Nice. Kind of read that all jacked up. Uh, Rapid says Lego man came with little GT3 type race car. It's a great set. I have it somewhere. Nice. 55 Gasser, my DGs are so far away to look for exclusive. Yeah. Um, mine's I have one right by work, like two minutes outside of the base. And they have nothing ever. Um, that one video I posted of me opening up a fresh F case and restocking, um, that was the first box that they have received in like six months. So it goes to show how well that Dollar Generals ran. Happy Hot Wheels, it's a good addiction. It definitely is. Mike has two of the Jeepster Commandos. Nice. Definitely want to find that super. B's Diecast Fantasyland got that pink Mustang headed your way. No freaking way, dude. You are amazing. Thank you so much. 
Um, like I said, let me know what you're looking for because I will definitely pay it back in return. That's just the way I am. I have to hook you up. Um, but thank you so much for seeing that pink Mustang. I, I seen Derek at Honest Diecast. I found a bunch of them. Um, but that's his end of Arizona. Corey Delgado, what do you think of the Tesla truck mainline that is coming out? Um, that silver titanium looking one? I don't know. I'm going to collect it just because it looks cool. Um, I have a lot of Teslas. Well, not a lot, but I have the Super Tesla Model S, and then I have those two Space Teslas. So having that version of a Tesla would be super cool to have. Um, please show me the Corvette C706. Which one? Because there's a bunch of them. Happy Hot Wheels has to head out. Keep up the good work. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much for the love and support. Um, be safe and have fun out there. Colby, all DG in Arizona are awful with Hot Wheels. Never seen anything good at them. Yeah, that's true. I've stopped off at two other variations, two other locations, and yeah, they don't have nothing. Um, 55 says, is he talking about the RLC Mustang pink one? Not too sure. Bees die Oh, yeah. Bees wants to check out the RLC Mustang right here. Of course, you guys saw I posted a picture on my Facebook of it loose. That one was from Mattel. I'm not opening up this bad boy. Check this out, guys. Let's go ahead and momentarily take this out of the protector case. That way we can see it in its glory. Look at that. Ugh. That is a beauty. So nice. Yeah. This thing is amazing, but 55 Gasser is even more amazing for hooking me up with this. Was not expecting to see this sitting in that box. This was probably the last thing. I would have probably expected um, a Super Treasure Hunt DeLorean before I even ever would have thought of seeing this inside of a package. So... The fact that Ivan sent this means the world, and I, I mean that. Uh, I'm just starting up. Hold on. Thomas and Shelly, uh, I'm just starting up question Hot Wheels. I don't know what that means. Sammy says, be safe, uh, and thank you for being the way you are, and God bless. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, I just want to keep the brand of the Mustang Hunter Diecast channel um, as down to earth and as positive as possible because there's so many collectors that are either just starting or have been collecting and they saw the era of real collectors fade away into the way it is now and I'm trying to revive and bring that in and if I can influence other channels to do the same thing um, that's it that's the goal of the channel uh, Pixamite trying to find the 10 gladiator a few months back is what got me hooked this time now I can't Go into the store without finding that thing. Now I'm now I'm hooked again. <laughs> yeah, you get hooked so quick. Alpha one six four is heading out. So all right, man. I appreciate you tuning in. Be safe and have a good night. Uh, Kobe says I can't wait for the green M two Cobra to come out. Ooh, I gotta look at that. Uh, Mike Martello, another. I mean, he's been in the live stream, but if you haven't checked him out, check him out. He's a great buddy of mine. Um, awesome, awesome guy. He says he's definitely having more fun collecting older cars uh, for two dollars than new mainlines. Yeah, I'm starting to do that same thing. A lot of people are sending me old cars, which are way better in my opinion than all the new stuff. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, like I love finding new variations, new castings. That is all cool, but when you can find an old blue card or old 90s card in great condition for two bucks, that's even cooler in my opinion. Um, we Thank You says, hide the peg warmers in store somewhere, make disappear. They usually get a box the next week. Oh, <laughs> nice. Did someone say Super Treasure Hunt DeLorean? Yes, I did wrap it. I still want that in my collection because I do have uh, the regular DeLorean from Back to the Future and then a couple other DMC-12s. Blue Mountain Crawlers, what is your most prized Mustang? Um, 
it's going to have to be this new RLC I got. This is by far one of my top cars at the moment. I mean, I'm not an RLC member. Never thought I would ever get my hands on an RLC Mustang. So this is probably my top car in my entire collection. Um, I do have a lot of Supers, which I love. A lot of uh, I have a couple chase cars of the Fox body from M2 and Johnny Lightning, but an RLC car is way cooler. Um, Static Crispy says, okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Kavishan, Kavishan says, have you watched the second Fast and Furious 9 trailer and what are your thoughts? Um, I've seen a couple of them. The only thing I can't get my head around is having... Um, what's his name? John Cena as the bad brother. Like, why, why cast him as the bad brother? And what? I don't know when it went from hijacking DVD players to Mission Impossible and crazy 007 stuff. I mean, you got super soldiers. You got Vin Diesel. Like, dude's like a super soldier himself. I think it was like the third, no, fifth. Fast and the Furious where they're fighting on the parking garage with Jason Statham. He stomps and the whole building collapsed. Like, really? This dude's a street racer. I don't know where it went from that to the way it is. Um, luckily, they only have a contract for 10 movies. So we got this 9 coming out and then 10. I don't know how they're going to do 10, but I don't know. Maybe Vin Diesel's son's going to be another super, I don't know, super soldier type guy. Um, Abdullah says the Red Z06. The Red Z06. I don't have a Red Z06. Uh, I'm trying to think. Unless you're talking about the Red Edition. I don't know where I put that. Jesus. Hold on, guys. Let me look. This guy wants to see it. the C7R this is the only one I can think of on the top of my head target red edition C7R um, but you're talking about Z06 I don't know I'd have to look oh Thomas and Shelly says they're just starting out Hot Wheels so definitely welcome to the family Um, 55 says, so true. Very, very few true collectors like ourselves. Jason, mostly a lot of scalpers nowadays. Yeah, it's it's super crazy to see. Kevin, Kevin Cunt says, did you find the Nissan box? Um, I didn't find it, but I have it. I know you guys love to see this one, but yes, I have it right here. These look so good in all white like that. Look at that. So fresh. Mm. Love this set. Um, Superbird, the hobby of collecting Hot Wheels has really skyrocketed in the last couple of years. Yeah, and I also blame it on COVID because a lot of people didn't know what to do with their lives. So they were like, oh, let's get into collecting. And it, it also sparked me to start collecting again because... I collected on and off for like 10 years. Um, Static Crispy, bro, talking about supers, the one super I want is the Super CRX. <laughs> yeah, I still have, this one's already taken. I traded one away, you guys remember, I traded for the RX-7, then I traded the RX-7 to 55 Gaster for the Borla Super. Um, I still have this one, but this is going to my buddy Nate. So, he's the one that hooked me up with the 2020 GT500 Super, and I told him I would send him this. Um, so, he's getting that one. If I find another one, you guys know I'll post it. Monster Jam, Zachary Allen found the 57 Super. Ah, jealous. Super jealous of that. God, I want to find that one. 
Yeah, Mike, you can't see me. He's talking about John Cena and Fast and Furious. Jorge Delgado, do you have a brown Mustang Super Treasure Hunt from 2017 or 2018? Um, a brown Mustang. It must be... Um, no, I don't. The only super... Oh, well, the only gold one I have... This is the only one I have from 2018. It's the Super of the 68 tuned. I don't know if you're talking about that, but I have this one. Monster Jam, Zachary Allen, do you like WWE wrestling? Of course, I grew up with it. I grew up in the Attitude Era, which when it was still called WWF, and I used to love watching Monday Night Raw. Um, that was my show. I watched a lot of Monday Night Raw, Thursday Night Smackdown, Shotgun Saturday Night, a um, bunch of other ones. But yeah, w wrestling was my life growing up. Um, do you have any Chevy C10 pickups? No. Um, the only, well, I lied. I only have one, and it's right here. This one right here, the Flying Customs 67. This is the only C10 I have. Um, I have the, well, the 69 Chevy, which not a C10. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'm not real big on how the Chevy trucks are, but that's the only C10 card I have is the 67 Flying Custom. Let's see. Uh, oh, back to Fast and Furious. Static says, think I don't get how the hell do you fly a car off a cliff and manage to hook into a wire line and smack into the side of a mountain and not break a bone without a roll cage? Exactly. Like, really? These dudes could barely hijack a freaking 18-wheeler in the first movie, and now they're hooking on to a very thin steel braided line to go from one mountain to another while another one gets magnetically attached to a flying jet. Really? Like, I get it, it's just all about action now. Um, even the original producer said the movie wasn't meant to be for gearheads um, because they had so many inaccuracies in all the movies that it was really just supposed to be for the action um, movie film people. So I definitely enjoy watching them. They're entertaining, but just sometimes way over the top. Corey Delgado, the blue Corvette that Matchbox came out with last year is sick, and this year too detailed is amazing. Yeah, um, the C8, which I finally got back in my collection. I had it like three months ago, four months ago maybe. Gave it away in a trade, and then I could never find it, and then luckily I just got it back from another trade. Um, 55 gas here, that's going to be impossible for me to find out here in California. Superbirds, gotta go. All right, man. Peace. Stay safe. I definitely appreciate you always tuning in. Abdullah uh, wants to check out my Shelby Custom that I did. All right, let's put this sneeze on set back. All right. So, if you guys remember the restoration series that I did, it was a three episode. And here she is. She's still looking very fresh. There we go. Let's try to get it to focus. There we go. Yeah. This thing came out really, really good, guys. I was very pleased with it. Of course, with the hood closed. Look at that. Those stripes look beautiful on there. They are a silver metallic. I should have done them white to kind of tie into the wheels. But the wheels were a last minute choice. Andre Cruz, what's up? He said, my girl just said to go get another car from BK there. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Um, are the tuned Mustangs supposed to have interiors in them? I always thought so, but I know the 68, the matte black one that just came out as a recolor, doesn't have an interior. But let me look at my other ones. Um, 
actually all the previous ones all the previous ones have completely blacked out windows. So I don't think they were supposed to have an interior. Um, but you're also not supposed to see inside it. So I know that frost that they put on there is supposed to be heavier than what it is. Customizer, what is up, man? What is up? I still got your 57 Chevys, by the way. I never made it to the uh, post office Friday. JT says he just got the box. Love the extras. Thanks for the trade. Of course, man. Um, I wish I could have thrown in like 50 more cars because I have so many other ones, but I threw in what I could, man. I hope you enjoyed them. Old Man Diecast, what is up, my man? Mike Martello says, watching wrestling on the carriers used to be deadly. Oh, I can. I bet that, man. I bet it was like, get over here and just Stone Cold Stunner everybody and give everybody the people's elbow and all kinds of good stuff. Black Cat 209, are you a UFC fan? Uh, back in the 90s, I was. My dad was into it. I was young, but I was into like Tank Abbott, um, Di uh, Frank Shamrock, Ken Shamrock, all those guys. Yeah, Rapid, you're not the... Uh, the tuned Mustang is not supposed to have an interior. Jeez, I'm like way behind on uh, comments here. Keynut, what's up, buddy? How long have you been in the stream? He says, I got you a Mustang. No, got you something. Okay. We just need Hewitt, David, Derek, Alex, and a few others. Yeah. Yeah, King Nut, what you got? I saw you were texting, um, but I didn't want to get locked out. And Mark, yeah. Unfortunately, we never met up with them while they were here. Um, crappy, but it is what it is. I felt my own personal kind of way about it, but it is what it is. Keynote was trying to get a get out a dump bin for last few minutes. <laughs> Jeremy Van Meter putting a package together to ship out to you tomorrow. Oh my god, man, you're freaking awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Mustang Hunter said he wanted to have wanted Mustang Hunter said he wanted to be the last to meet me. No. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh Keynote, where'd you find it, man? God dang it. I've been wanting to find that one. I need to find another one because I told a buddy at work I was going to get him one. If you guys didn't read, uh, King Nut found me the Fox Body Mustang from the Fast and the Furious. Fia Vang, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to the stream if you weren't here earlier. Alan Gall, first time watching your live stream in Australia. Nice. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Definitely do. If you ever have time, check out the rest of my channel. Um, if you like peg hunting and mail call videos and unboxings and stuff, it's pretty much what my channel consists of. And a lot of positivity. We like to spread our love of the diecast community. So if you're all about it, here we go. Ooh, Keenup found it at Target. Dang, Target's been on it this year, man. Target's been beating out Walmart every time in new releases Kelly says trying to figure out how to contact you through email uh, it should be down below it is jmanolive1 I'll actually write it out hold on give me give me a couple seconds guys but let's give one more look at this really cool custom look at that super psyched write it down real quick be patient guys be patient all 
Alright, let's see. Um, I'll just write it on the back of this. Okay, let's see. He grabbed the whole set. Oh, dirty, man. <laughs> oh, wait, I saw a question. How many Mustangs do you have? Probably about five or six hundred different variations, I think. Kevin Cunt, hit that like button. Yes, for sure. All right, so for those that want my email, let's see. There it is. Jmanolive1. I don't know if that's backwards. It looks backwards on camera. But there we go. J M A N O L I V E and the number one at yahoo.com. I know a lot of people always ask that. I don't know why it's not up when I post live streams, but it should be. J Man Olive One. So there's that. In case you need to contact me or hit me up on Instagram, that's cool too. Andre Cruz, he got all of them. Yep, he probably did. He said he got the whole set. Dang it. Really wanted to find that one so I can get my buddy the one fox body. Alright, let me put this letter. You guys know I save everybody's letter that you sent. I mean it guys, I save everyone's letters. All right, 55 says goodbye, everybody. Going, going to hopefully make the unboxing tomorrow for me, Jason. Can't wait to see. Have a great Sunday evening. Yes, I hope you enjoy it, Ivan. Um, I try to throw in some good ones for you. Um, like I said, I cannot top an RLC car. So I hope you enjoy it, man. Let me know. Static says, like Kingnut would say, I know, I know where a new Fast and Furious set is located. <laughs> Just playing money. <laughs> but yeah, guys, be sure to hit that like button. It definitely helps the channel um, get some more traction and views out there. So don't forget to drop some love. A lot of you are actually really good at doing that. So I appreciate everyone who does support the channel. Do you collect Ferrari and Lamborghinis? Yes, I do. I have... An entire row dedicated for Lamborghinis, and I have three, four Ferraris. I got the 348, the 308. Um, there's one I just had. One of my other favorites, the 96 First Edition, right here, the Ferrari F50. Um, I got the 348, no, the 355 Challenge, and then another one. So yeah, I do collect Ferraris when I can find them. And then yes, Lamborghinis. I do have a lot of Lamborghinis. Um, was it Sajan One says, like your positivity as a collector, man. First time catching your live stream. Appreciate you. Um, like I said, man, you just gotta, gotta have fun with it. You know, there's a lot of people, different age ranges different groups of people that just love to collect and why not make it fun for everybody so always gonna be that man never change never change for anybody um such cool cars yeah for real Derek Marr what up what up what I miss what did you miss all right so I did a trade with a fall man I gave him uh, or I'm sending him the chase Batmobile Four, which he already sent for this Dollar General exclusive Prelude. And then he also sent the DG exclusive Gladiator in white. Uh, he sent one of the custom Lego cars that he exclusively built, which is like a Ford Bronco. Uh, really cool Mustang Lego keychain. Definitely love that. Um, a super hilarious bumper sticker. It says, my other car is a Mustang. Definitely like that. Um, and then he sent me a custom Gladiator, which I already put on that back shelf, but the detail on that thing is freaking amazing. 
Um, Robert Ocampo are a rare RLC or a super treasure hunt? What are you talking about? Uh, which I would prefer? Keynut says he has to go pick up some Ferraris tomorrow. Definitely. All right, guys. So if you, I, I'm glad you brought that up. So if you haven't checked out or you're not subscribed to Jay's Diecast channel, um, check him out. He's doing a really cool thing for his, his. I think it's his wife or girlfriend. Anyways, it's her birthday. Her last name is Ferrari, which is freaking amazing. I'd love to have the last name Ferrari. But anyways, um, he wants everyone who wants to participate in doing a custom Ferrari and sending it in to her for her birthday just to have all kinds of people from the community put together their own customs and send it in. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm having a hard time choose the 308 Ferrari that I have, the Testarossa, or the California Special um, or California Edition Testarossa I have. So one of those is going to be a custom, but I'm definitely going to jump in. Check out his channel, um, Jay's, Jay's Diecast and watch that video. It's, I think that's a super cool idea. Just having everyone from the community put their customs together and send it in for her birthday. So that is awesome. Definitely partaking in that. Um, Black Cat, do you collect green light, green machines? Um, I have a couple, I don't collect them. Like I don't go and buy them. I've actually gotten them in trade, but I love green lights. They're freaking awesome. I have a 67 GT500 and a 2019 GT350R. Nice. Fordsman84, what's up, brother? Did you score anything good? I know you're going through your collection. I've been watching your videos, your uploads. Customizer, got to find a Ferrari. I'll definitely do some customs. Yes, for sure. Robert Ocampo Ferraris are very hard to find nowadays. Yeah, they are, but luckily we have the cubby hole, which they have a bunch, like two bucks, four bucks. Um, Jeff Zucula, Zucala, Zucala says, do you rattle can or airbrush your customs? I rattle can, man. I, I wish I had an airbrush gun, but I don't. I just use rattle cans, but I use the techniques I've used that I've learned in the military because I do body work and paint on stealth stealth aircraft so same concept same variations uh msp customs i like watching because you are not scalping and being crappy dude good on you for keeping it honest and uplifting for sure man thank you for those for those words it's definitely motivating and good to hear that you guys enjoy the channel and that you're actually feeding into my positivity because a lot of you have actually let me know that it's rubbed off on you and you're doing the same thing now and you're paying it forward and sending packages and all that stuff. So that is awesome. Um, we just want to share the love and just the hobby with each other. It's just like back in the day when people were into sports cards and Pokemon cards and all that. We used to just trade. Like that's all it was about. It was like, hey man, I'll give you these two cards for your one. Like that's what's fun about it. Customizer, uh, he asked what the deadline for the Ferrari is. I think it's June, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get it done as soon as I can. Um, I have a couple other customs, but I'll probably put those on pause so I can knock this one out for her birthday. Collins Diecast says, where's the cubby hole? Um, it's closer to Phoenix, Arizona. I can send you the link if you DM me or email me. I can send it to you. Andre Cruz, this guy, you're a real American hero, bro. Appreciate you, man. Kina says his best videos are the ones that I'm in. That is very true. But a lot of people hate on it, I guess. Not hate on it, like genuinely hate on it, but they think we're cheesy because we're so like, oh, I got you this. And you're like, oh, I got you that. And it's like, no, I hooked you up with this. I know Derek and them were talking smack on their live stream about it. Uh, Louis G says, do you collect mini GTs? I don't. 99% um, of my collection is Hot Wheels, but I do love Johnny Lightning, M2, and Auto World. Those are my other like side collection cars or side brands. Hey, Kingnut, um, I did find this today. I showed this one earlier. Um, and then... 
course, you guys, I don't know if y'all tuned in earlier, but I found the treasure hunt of the Tread Shredder. Um, I found another mystery machine because a lot of people I know want that, so I got it just in case. Um, the Albertsons I went to had like nine 62 Chevys, but I picked up an extra one because I gave all my extras away. Um, and then the Treasure Hunt Skull Shaker, since apparently now I'm collecting those because now I have like three of them. Now I start. Now I got to start finding them all. Colin says Mini GT is great. Just got my first white lightning. Nice. Fiat Bang says he's got to get back to the grill. Have a good one. Awesome. Hope you. Um, I like my steaks medium well. So no, I'm just playing. But no, I definitely appreciate you tuning in. I love the support and all that stuff. So have a great Sunday with with you or yourself, the family, whoever you're with, and then enjoy your night. So, uh, MSP says, I got the orange M2, love that one. Yeah, the orange one is nice. I showcased the red one I have earlier. But guys, I have so much crap on this table. It's, it's getting too much, getting too much. Alan Gall, apart from Ford, what is your next favorite car maker? Mine is Mopar. Um, ooh, that's a good one. I was born and raised Chevy, so I'd have to say Chevy, really. Rapid says, it's less than an hour until Monday. Oh, my God. It's like, what time is it here? Uh, it's 3 in the afternoon here. Uh, Kingnut says, late lunch, early dinner with the wife. See you tomorrow. All right, man, peace. Yeah, hit me up. I think I have I have some stuff for you anyway, so yeah, hit me up. Collins Diecast, the orange and blue set by Hot Wheels is for sale at Smith's Toy Stores, Nismo. If you want to pick up any of those, plus they have Fast Wagon set. Nice. Static Crispy, is that a charger next to the white Supra behind you? Yes, it's the black one. You want to check it out? I'll bring it over here. Ugh. So this one's not, I want the one from the first movie, but this is out of the new Fast 9. Look at the detail of that huge butterfly trap right there, that intake on that blower. Look at that, you have the really nice drag slicks on there. Really good detail. Um, yeah, I love seeing the BDS butterfly doors right there on the front. Look at that, got the skinnies. Huge drag slicks on the back. So nice, man. So nice. Of course, the plastic really hides a lot because of the glare of the case. But um, eventually, I'll open these up. But for right now, I'm kind of just stacking and collecting them. Uh, Rapid says, hey, Jason, I had an idea. If you come to England, being a massive suitcase, I'll jump in and come visit the cubby hole. And it, oh man, like two, three years ago, I was in England. That would have been awesome to have done that. But that was before I even got back into collecting. Customizer says, read my last comment, broski. All right, what'd you say? What'd you say? Hold on, guys. I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Uh, customizer says, if you grab a few Ferraris, get me one or two, I'll pay you. I'm definitely willing to help the community with some customs. All right, cool. Yeah, if I go there, man, I'll, I'll definitely grab some for you. Um, Louis G wants a tour of my man cave. All right, cool. People want to see what I got because it's really only me and Kingnut that get to enjoy what I have. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and put this charger back. Let's put this right here. So as you can see, I do have the hero car, the Supra from the first one. Got the nines, and then of course you have Brian's white Supra and the GR Supra. But this is where I have my chase cars. I need to put the other Batmobile up here. Um, that way I can have my chase IDs. But this is where pretty much my M2s of the Mustangs are. So I have the blue, the blue one, the nice ruby red, the Hertz, the Hurst one. Um, I got the Cobra Jet Torino, the Red Boss, the Grabber Blue, and of course the Johnny Lightning 
65 right here really nice and then this one the Carol Shelby pink that is so cool gone in 60 seconds I got my M2s over here these are a lot of the older ones I've had in my collection for a while the ground pounder those massive wheels got the Falcon the bullet here's another Torino Cobra out of M2s you got the Detroit test car the 66 test car and the knuckle garage boss 429 and then you got the red and white twin turbo stealth out of auto world um, and then up here I have the mainline version of the race pack Mustang got the Dodge Demon Deco Daytona can't really see it but there we go really nice one uh, my Fanta, but over here is where I have all my Porsches and premium. So I got my Porsche Super fast right here in blue gray and red Got the Ranger with the opening moving parts got the two 280 ZX the Porsche spider And then this one right here that King that really wants the 911 GT3 the 73 Dodge the Honda s2000 Got the other Porsche Carreras. And then yeah, these are all my Porsches right here. I got the Panameras all lined up. This one I have right here, the Grand Cross, even though it's not labeled as a Porsche. Um, it's pretty much based off of the Taken, the Taycan or however you say that. Then I got my exotic packs. Got the first one with the blue Porsche and the McLaren F1. And you got the one that followed it in the Lamborghinis and the Lotus. You got the Bugatti released version. And then, of course, you have the Lamborghinis down here. Uh, the Hot Wheels Legends Tour, the Corvette 5 pack, and then these right here. These are really cool. Um, so you have the Mercury Cougar R code. This one's the 1968, and it's a 6750 piece right there and then over here you have a less 2300 piece and this one actually is a 1968 and a half Cougar R with drag slicks got the skinnies in the front that one's really cool so I found these two together I saw that the number releases were a lot different so I was like what's the difference um, the only thing I noticed was this one had the drag slicks that one had the regular radials so I had to pick those two up um, I got the Subaru, got the Escort, Ford GT, the Von Gittin Jr. You got the McLaren F1 GTR, the BMW 2002, the Hoonigan 55, the little too short Nova. Then you got the Maisto 93 Cobra right here with the drag setup looking super cool. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever done this, but I did a picture frame a long time ago. These were the first Mustangs I opened up. Um, these were all duplicates. So I had the 2010s, the GT500s, the 98 Cobras, a couple of them, and I just threw them in a picture frame. A buddy of mine drew this for me. He's really good at art, and then he hand drew my actual Mustang right here. So yeah, he does some really good work. But that was one of the first ones he did, and then he saw a picture of my car and then drew that for me. Um, and then coming up top, you have another Porsche 962. You got these retro haulers with the Boss and the Porsche 930. And you got the Power Trip set, the Forza. You got all these up here, the Fast and Furious cars, the premiums. Um, then you got the Colt Racers. You got the Maximum, I think it's the Maximum Venom set, the full set. So I got both full sets of the Colt Racers and the Venom set. Um, these are my oldest, or these are a part of my oldest Hot Wheels right here, the blue cards. And then I got the Space, the Space Tesla, which is actually orbiting, the first car to orbit the sun. And then I got the one with the Starman sitting in there. Really cool. And then, of course, I got the Mars Rover. Um, these are all my Supers right here. I got the 69 Chevy, the 68 Mustang, the 65, 
This Borla Super Treasure Hunt I just traded with 55 Gasser. Got the GT500. Got the 2005 Mustang with the Hot Wheels Team Racing livery. 2007. Uh, this is one of two Treasure Hunt variations of the Mustang. This one has the thin pinstriping on the side of the stripes and the other one doesn't have pinstriping. So there's two variations of this including and not including the super so there's a super and then there's two treasure hunt variations of this you got the treasure hunt ford mustang um you got the super tesla the super sesto elemento the nissan fair lady the audi and of course you got the mach one right there the of course the roger dodger eight ball the mini cooper the uh, jaded and the galaxy um, and then these are all the other cars that I liked because these were Mattel's 75 year car. So I got the two variations of the Mattel Dream Car, or the yeah Dream Car, the Circle Tracker, and then Mainline Treasure Hunts right here. You got the Camaro, Daytona, you got the Mercedes, Chevelle, Silverado, you got the Chevy Van, the Circle Trucker, the Baja. The Viper, the 56, and the Camaro. Uh, but these are all my trucks over here. I got all my M2 hauler sets right here. This Carroll Shelby. Got the Sprite. And you got the autographed Carroll Shelby 35th anniversary. And then you got the four decades of pony power. Those are all premium Mustangs from 96. And you got these haulers right here. And then of course you have all the ID cars kind of stacked up but kind of forgetting what I have now um, yeah all my trucks run all through here all the variations that I have and like I said guys this desk is starting to get stacked with cars these are all the new cars I got the new um, mail calls all that stuff still have the Shelby that King that hooked me up with um, I don't know if I showcased this to you, but I did pick this up. The Fast Wagon Skyline. Really cool. I picked it up because uh, Dotson Man Dyke has hooked me up with the X Men version, so I thought I'd pick up that one too. Um, got my little Volkswagens and Chevelles sitting up in the corner. Volkswagens going all the way down, all the way to this one, which is really cool. If you guys want to see something up close, let me know. Got the Fast and Furious cars right here, running all the way. Then my five packs, the Fast and Furious. We got the 45th anniversary and the 50th Mustang packs. Two flame packs. The Shelby five pack, and then this really cool birthday pack right there but yeah these are all mustangs from from this point on it's all mustangs starting with the 62 concept the 63s pretty much all in numerical order got my johnny lightnings up top all my m2 little box gassers and then the chrysler 300f with the hellcat engine in it, it actually does have a hellcat engine Super clean. I know AFAL man would like this one. I actually have the green Mustang right there. 68 Mustang. Uh, all my M2s and Auto World series packs are down here. Got all these. And then right here, guys, this is where the Shelby's are all lined up. I still have a bunch of other Shelby's I need to put on here and then this is where all the JDM um, American imports like Mazdas, um, you got the Acuras, you got the Hondas, you got all the Lamborghinis that run down this wall, got all the Corvettes, uh, got some Jaguars, some Astons, some Audis, Subarus, the Mercedes GT cars, the, um, the Cadillac GT cars, and of course you got all the other ones and then it kind of transitions into like the hot rod rat rod fantasy cars 
Um, I just picked up this Joey Logano 2021 wave. This one actually has a celebration deco, which is kind of similar to the 2019 wave. So I have the 2019, the 2020, the 2021, and then you got the Tyler Reddick's kill switch engage car. That thing is super cool. And then this is where all my loose cars are, my custom that a lot of you guys have sent me or um, that I've done are up here. So you got the customizers, awesome work right here. Got Honest Diecast, Jeremy Van Meter, Hewitt's Diecast, Honest Diecast, that one's mine. Um, and then you got some actual casts. Um, Diecast Clown hooked me up with that one, I believe it was. And oh, I can't remember who gave me that one. Forgive me for forgetting, but there's so many that I have. So there's that one, and then there was a matching one right here. Same color, different gears, different people, which is I thought was hilarious. And I got the Dodge Demons right here. That one's my favorite one because that's the factory-looking colors. Uh, Chase car, M2 Chase piece, a 750. Uh, I still need to restore these. This is the Ferrari Testarossa. This is the custom truck that I did. This thing is really cool. Um, and then the Ford GT40. Still haven't done anything with that. But yeah. These are my other scale cars that I have. Love these ones. I've had these for this one at least 10 years or so. Twister Special. Mach 1. This one's a custom remote control car a buddy of mine did. Got the Steve McQueen's Bullet. This gigantic 118 GT500 that King Nuts Dad gifted. Got the Hertz. Yes, I know I have a Shelby water bottle and a Shelby energy drink that I haven't opened. And then I do have a, a pedal car right there that my grandma gave me. But then you start coming into like the Camaros. Um, yeah, these are all Camaros. And then it kind of transitions into the Big Air Bel Airs. You got right here all the color variations of it. And you got the Novas. The Monte Carlos. And the Chevelles. And then of course I have the full Factory 500 set. Which I was excited to get. But now they're peg warmers. So, glad I was able to at least get that. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have in my entire man cave. And then this is all either duplicates or just what I ran out of room. So this is that Ferrari 355 Challenge. I know it's just Challenge, but I like to say it all exotic. The Ferrari 355 Challenge. Got the first edition. That's a duplicate I have. Selena 7. Followed by another Selene S7. Uh, this is actually going to Nas. I need to get this out. He's been looking for the GameStop red, red GT500. Another GameStop exclusive. It's a duplicate. Um, I got two of these sent to me. I got the full spring set. There you go. I got the 98 first edition. Got the Stingers. I can... I think all the colors back there, the Gusters, the Chevelles, yeah, a couple of Chevelles, and then these are all extra, not extra, but I just didn't have room to put these anywhere, so you got the uh, R30, you got the BNR32, you got the other BNR32, you got this one sitting out back. The 2000 GTX. You got the Soon Kang Fugu Z 240Z. You got the 240Z Datsun right here. Super clean. You got this white 240Z. And then this beauty right here. Look at that. 2000 GTR. A very, very nice. 
It's like, imagine back in the day when these were like still on peg, when you're peg hunting and you're finding all these Dotsons and BNR 32s and R30s and all the freaking cool casts that were coming out at that time. Now, now they're not going back the way they were. Uh, this is an extra. And then I got the women, the first female race driver. Let's see, and these are extra 510 wagons I got. So yeah, guys, it's a very long tour, so my apologies. I have not read any comments, so I am sure I am way behind. All right, let's go ahead and turn this around so you can see my beautiful face. All right, there we go. Let's put this back. Uh, geez, there's a lot of comments. Oh my God. All right, so I'm back at the very, very bottom. Ooh, I like the white 240Z. It looks so sweet. Yeah, for sure. Ugh. Alan says, "Wish my collection was closer to me." Yeah, I keep. I have picture. I have all these cars. I have are on my phone. I take pictures of everything I buy and I save them to my phone. That way, I can always have access to them. That way, when people ask, like, "What do I have? Do I have this version?" Uh, Renault Racing says, what do you drive daily, Mustang? I drive a 2005 Mustang GT that is partially built. Um, it's got pulleys, tune, intake, throttle body, full exhaust, full suspension work, um, some Hurst comp shifter, gears. Did I say pulleys already? All right, Louis says thanks. For, thanks for the tour. Yeah, welcome to my cribs. Remember when they did cribs back in the day? Uh, my collection's nowhere near yours. I'm six months in. Says the customizer. Hey, that's all good, man. As long as you're collecting what you like, your collection is gonna be nothing but cool stuff. So, um, some of this stuff I really, really like, and some of the stuffs like, oh, I just got it because I had one variation, and I just got all the variations. Wait, what did you replace the BMW with? A Mustang? Uh, no, so I had a Beamer as my daily and then the Mustang I've had for 13 years now. So the Beamer was just a daily driver, it was my beater car. Um, and it was falling apart, so I got rid of that thing. MTV Cribs Mustang Hunter Edition, for sure. You'd be like, what's in the fridge? Nothing, just Hot Wheels. I was collecting big time in 98 till 2006. Nice. 69 Stingray, any Corvettes? Yes, you wanna check those out. I will gladly, I don't know why I'm chewing on this. I'll glad you take you on a tour of my Corvettes. Uh, let's see, what would you collect for, what would you collect for as toys if Ford Mustang never existed? Uh, if the Mustang never existed, I don't know, that's a hard one because I got into collecting Mustangs because I love Mustangs and I owned two of them. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it'd probably be Corvettes for Chevelles. But here we go. All right, so you got the 2014 Stingray out of the Gran Turismo. You got the C8. You got the C6R, which is really clean. Uh, the Grand Sports. Got another Grand Sport. You got that one. You got the Stingray. Robert Felix, what's up? Just doing a little tour of the Corvettes that I have. Uh, you got the ZR1s. Got the Z06s. Another Z06. C7R. C7R. Oh. And then finishing off with the favorite, but I do have the C7R Red Edition right here. I still have other cars I need to put up. Um, in this one, I think it's this one. Is it in this one? No, it's not in this one. Let's go peg hunting, guys. Got the Ferrari 348. It's in this one. These are all the Zamax. So I got the Boss. Yeah, here we go. Here's the Zamax of that one. 2021 wave the first wave it's number two all right 
Let's go ahead and put the Ferraris back. The 348 and the 355. All right, Collins is out. All right, so see you, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, anybody else want to see a specific car or body style? Let me know. I might have it. Tom Brown, what's up, buddy? Just did a little short tour. Actually, I did a full tour of my entire collection um, and then just went over the Corvettes. All right, so we got Static Crispy wants to check out them Hondas, that Honda life. All right, where do the Hondas start? Um, no, these are Acuras. See, I just want to make sure I don't start off. All right, you got the Honda CRX. Of course, it goes into Acuras, which is the luxury version of Honda. But then you got the Preludes. I do have the yellow one. It's not put up yet. Or actually, yeah, the yellow one's right up here. The Prelude. Um, but back down, you got the Ryu Asada's Preludes. You got the Type R's. You got the Bissimoto Type R, which is my favorite. And then these are all the releases of the Type R. Every single one of them. Got the Honda S2000, and then got the 85 CRX, which is a newer release. The SI, of course, um, and then of course I do have the well, have currently, but giving to my buddy the Super CRX. So those are my Hondas. I don't have that many Hondas, surprisingly, um, even though I really love Honda. I want to find more. I want to find more of the older CR, uh, the Civic SIs. As soon as the stream ends, I'm checking straight into Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Yeah, definitely. Hewitt's in here? Hewitt's! What's up, brother? Peace. Boom. Intro. All right. So, yeah. Um, at any time, guys, just let me know what you guys want to see. I love show, showcasing what I have, um, and then it just lets me know what I still need. So we'll probably be streaming for a little bit longer, and then we'll cut it because I definitely want to spend some time with the fam. Hewitt says, "What's up, brother? Peace. What's up, buddy?" Static says, "Bro, the red and white Type R is the one I'm missing to complete the Type R fleet." Um, the red one I found at work, out of all places, it was during Christmas, they had a toy drive and somebody donated a giant box of like random cars and toys and cheap ones. Um, there was a few Hot Wheels in there and my boss was like, hey, there's a whole bunch of toy cars in there. You can check and if whatever you find, you can have because all the kids already got all their gifts. So I dug in there for like an hour. It was a box like this big, huge digging and digging and digging finally got the red type R and then the white one I think I got from uh, uh, diecast clown he hooked me up with the white one to finish my set rapid says would you be interested in being in a video in making I don't know if that's a question for me Cool combis. I have one, and it is. I gave it to my daughter already. Yeah, I only had the Hello Kitty one. I never got into collecting those. Uh, Renault Racing. Do you buy from eBay or only hunting? I only hunt. I don't. If I do buy online, it's either from Amazon or uh, the last one was from Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Check out his website. He has some really good castings for super cheap. Um, but other than that, I try to hunt or trade. I don't go off eBay because eBay prices are way too steep. Everyone thinks that a car that they haven't seen personally is worth all this money. Drag combis, yeah, those, those are pretty cool, but I don't have any of those. Um, yeah, I got the Kefa Racer and then the Beatles and the Volkswagen GTIs. Um, but other than that, my Volkswagen collection isn't that big. Mike says, peace out. All right, brother, peace, be safe. And, of course, I'll always tune in to your messages and all that stuff. So 
Definitely appreciate everyone tuning in and tolerating me for an hour and 44 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really, tell them about Helmet Diecast. Oh yeah, definitely check out Helmet Diecast. He has some awesome photography that he puts on his Instagram. Um, I'll put the link somewhere on here when I can. But yeah, check him out, Helmet Diecast. Definitely glad I got this in today. Super stoked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the Mach 1. All right, so where, where this was originally at on the peg with the supers, I'm gonna put this somewhere else. So now I got these two beauties and the RLC I need to find a spot for because all the supers are taking up a spot for the super. My super collection is growing. Bebek Malang from Indonesia, what is up? Static says, Lil Key was freaking out over your Honda collection. <laughs> I love Hondas, man. Hondas are awesome cars. I just need more of them. Columbia man, I like your hat. Oh, yeah, you see the Columbia. <laughs> hey, says Bebek Malang. Malang? Malang. Trying to say it right with the correct pronunciation. Bebek Malang. Sounds like it would be right. Louis G, how long have you been collecting? I started back in 2010. Um, just Mustangs only, like. I found a Mustang, I'd buy it. I never found, I never bought more than one Mustang cast. I would just buy it, store it in a tote. Um, and then it was just off and on for like a few years. And then last year when COVID happened, I got bored. I was like, you know what? Hot Wheels are coming out and they're looking so cool now. So I thought, you know, let's start collecting again. Um, I was only collecting Mustangs still, but then I started venturing into exotics. Um, start out with a Lamborghinis. And then from there went into trucks and then from trucks went into mini trucks and then just everything so i started collecting everything i like as a car guy uh rapid nismo says i'm doing uh i'm i'm doing a things that annoy oh things that annoy me about diecast collecting just trying to stir it up if you wanted to if you wanted to wait a minute or be clip something a noisy mustang i read that all jacked up so i apologize mine showing us the b is for build oh the b the b is for build mustang i don't even know why i still have this thing <laughs> here we go right here b is for build my very first full custom look at that and then the card i made it's one of one YouTube and it says the 67 tribute or B is for build tribute 67 um, and it's actually on my 71 boss card I just glued the image I printed this and set it up on there where did you get that Cobra water bottle and that Red Bull Cobra oh the I got that from Vegas when I went to the Shelby Museum. I got the water bottle and the energy drink from there. Wish we had a store cubby hole up here in Canada. So many awesome casts I spied in your, oh yeah, an honest die cast, yeah. All right, Rapid. Um, let me know what you want. I'll send you like a one minute clip or whatever clip you want. I'll send it to you and you can use that in your video. There's a lot of things that that annoy me in collecting. And I, was, I thought about doing that a video like that too. Hewitt's, the Shelby Museum, I bet it was cool. It is freaking cool, man. You get to see them building the 427s. Um, you see them building the, the Hertz rental cars. You see them building those, the Super Snakes. Um, I signed the wall. Well, they have a whole hallway that you could sign. They give you a Sharpie. 
you can sign on there. So I signed me and my wife. It was 2017. Um, and then you do the full tour of his of Carol Shelby's full collection. Um, I bought a shirt, a hat, a water bottle, the energy drink. Um, they didn't have any casts that I wanted that were cheap because they were all Carol Shelby priced. Uh, Black Cat says, what do you think of the new Mach 1? I think that thing is beautiful. It's, it's well built. Um, the only thing I kind of wish it stuck with was the roots of a shaker hood. I wish they would have kept a modern shaker hood on there. It just would have made it made it unique. Because you're going to see all these cars come out, people replicating a Mach 1, making it look like a Mach 1, um, which they did when I had a 2003, I had a 2004 Mach 1. Um, and a lot of people used to make fake Mach 1. So I'm kind of thinking they're going to do the same thing. You're going to be able to buy the hood. You're going to be able to buy the stripe kit and all that stuff. But um, I really wish it had the shaker hood on it. Rapid says, just just explain what annoys you most. Could be anything, a minute or two. Show it off if you want. Can't wait. All right, cool. Um... What is your favorite Honda? My dream car is the S2000. That's a good one. That's probably my top, probably within my top five. Um, but I love EG hatchbacks. Um, I like the 88 CRX, the 91 CRX, um, and the Prelude. Gotta have the Prelude. Stack says, you gonna grab the new Fast and Furious R35? It's the one from the two fat. Yes, definitely gonna grab that one. The silver one with the blue uh, hash stripes on there. Yeah, definitely grabbing that one. All right, guys, we got a couple more minutes, and I'm gonna cut it. We gotta cut it. I know it's supposed to be cars and coffee, but it's cars and energy drink. They are racing Mustangs and V8 supercars. Yeah, those Mach ones, man. Mach 1s are on another level. So the thing I like about it is it's sharing a lot of stuff. <laughs> Diecast tube. At least he didn't get a splinter today. Yeah, that's very true. Very, very true. I don't know if you guys remember that stream, but I was showcasing my skateboard and I got a huge splinter stuck in my finger and I spent like five minutes of the live stream trying to get it out. Um, but the thing I like about the Mach 1 is it's got a lot of components from the the Shelby, which is going to be super, I mean, it's untouchable already, but the GT500 is the most dense. All right, the customizer is out. All right, man, peace out, homie. Um, I'll let you know when I send out the uh, 57 Chevys and stuff. You're into Mustangs. What, what you drive? I drive a 2017 50. I have a 2005 uh, partially built GT, um, but like I was saying, the 2020 GT500 is the most power dense Ford Mustang or Ford engine powered motor ever. Um, I mean, you're getting a five. Is it a five point five point two liter? Let me know. I can't remember. Five point two pushing seven hundred and I forgot how much horsepower. But ridiculous amount of power in a small displacement versus like the 6.6 .6 in higher motors putting that much power. So you have all this power in a small displacement. I mean, that is the most power densed motor from Ford to date. Can't wait to see what's in the Hewitt's box round two. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. Um, it's definitely coming on two hours, but uh, Jose Torres, it's a manual. It's a five-speed. It's got the Hearst Comp shifter, um, gears, pulleys, tune. It's got a Steeda race tune, uh, BBK cold air, BBK full exhaust, RTR pan heart bar, and Cobra Jet racing springs wrapped with some FR500s and some Sumitomo uh, 295s. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm glad I was able to answer that question. Um, anyways, 
yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, guys. I definitely appreciate all of you for tuning in. Of course, thanks for entertaining me for another live stream. I do want to make this an every Sunday thing, a little cars and coffee at 2 p.m. So if you guys can tune in, that'd be great. If not, that's cool. I know a lot of you uh, harp on yourselves for missing out. That's all good, man. Uh, a lot of you are going to tune in later, hopefully. Um, but hopefully I'll have another video drop this week. So much love to all of you. Thank you all so much for tuning in and enjoying the tour that I did earlier and the unboxing and all that good stuff. So um, love you all. Appreciate all of you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. And of course, stay tuned until next time, guys. But yeah, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.